Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Retro Releases where we take a look at Disney Cars diecasts produced between the years 2006 and 2013 and of course including all the years in between. Uh, in today's episode we're looking at the Trunk Rush Pity who was only released in the 2009 Race Orama series and uh, of course uh, that being said he has not been re-released since uh, and he, I do not believe he has been cancelled since. Uh, 2009 was a pretty good year for Pities. Uh, you had quite a few, you had a lot of new ones. You had Vitaline, Trunk Fresh, uh, Jerry Drive Chain. Um, you also had, the year before, you had a bunch of new uh, ones such as, you know, Shirley Spinout, Piccolo Perry, uh, Nebec and Desert, whatever his name is. Um, you also had, like, the Nitroid Pity. And uh, you also had a bunch of team sets in 2009, 2010, um, along with a few other cars. Um, or pities that were released in later years, um, and this guy was one of them. There's also the um, the Revengo pity, um, the Mood Springs pity, and the Cola pity were all cancelled in 2010 as well as singles. Uh, and then you also had the um, those packs uh, that were cancelled: the Easy Idol pack uh, and the um, the Nitroid, not the Nitroid, the Easy Idol and the Cola pack. Uh, so, yeah, there's quite a few of, there's, between 2008 and 2011, well, actually, did the, did the final lap line go into 2011? I say it kind of did, so between uh, 2008 and 2011, that's when we got probably, um, I want to say almost, maybe 80% of the pities, um, maybe even more than that. Uh, you also, you know, we had, like, Mike Stockhard, Brian I'm Gear. Um, and Megan Shifter released in more recent years, starting in tw 2018, I want to say. Uh, and you, you know, you also had, like, Not Shock, who, oh yeah, he was also released in there. And I believe Petro Pulaski was maybe released sometime earlier. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on that, but enough with that. Let's actually take a look at the Trunk Fresh Pity. Of course, uh, he slash she is in the classic Trunk Fresh kind of yellow green it's more of like a you know green uh, but it also is um sort of leaning towards that like electric green yellow color so you have that green bottom half uh, along with those wheels you have the trunk fresh logo on the side then the kind of center like where his eyes are um you have the um it's black uh, and then the top once again goes back to that kind of greenish yellow color with the trunk fresh logo on top uh his expression uh, of course we don't know the actual um, term for this pretty since it was only like labeled as trunk fresh pretty I would just be calling it a him because uh, we made that looks closer to that in my opinion I have the mouth plate which looks weird but uh, luckily this big old you know lifters uh, kind of block it from you know being ugly um, the expression I was kind of talking about that the expression looks really nice of the smile there, and um, uh, Trunk Fresh was of course one of the only sponsors that appeared at the Dynaco 400. Um, out of all the um, out of all the pities that were released between 2008 and 2011, and the ones that were scheduled to be released, um, all of them were actually appeared. But then the three that were released recently, Mike Stockard, Megan Shifter, and Brian, uh, actually did not appear at the Dynaco 400, um, and less than half of the sponsors. Uh, that appeared in Cars One were actually actually had teams at the uh, the um, the race. So Mike, Brian, and Megan did not actually appear in the movie. However, the rest did. Um, Leak less. Um, the crew chief is actually white instead of that kind of electric yellow, and um, the RPM crew chief is not only uh, white like Leak less. It's also the um, the same model that the Fiberfuel crew chief Andrew Butes. Uh, that is the parent name that is the one that was on the listing it's not 100 percent confirmed but there was a few errors uh where the andrew butch name tag was on megan shifter so uh, i believe uh that the name was officially going to be andrew butch for the uh Piper field crew chief uh you know lots of pities uh being released between those years here's the tire stack of course that light ear outer line on both sides uh and the green insides. You can see it that little hole attaches to his little forklift thingies. 
and like carry it around. It doesn't stand too well. Um, and the wheels, I do not know if they're the right color. I can go and take a look at Dirksen right here. Um, they are, it appears that they're actually the correct color. Uh, so that is um, pretty good, or this is pretty similar. And then you have the toolbox, which is, of course, the normal um, trunk wrench green, 34, uh, with the trunk fresh logo on it. So, that being said, uh, that concludes this episode of Retro Releases. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.